So let's take a standard Arduino Uno. Onto it, we will put Blink. Basics, Blink. Tools. So definitely on COM5. And there we go, we've got a flashing LED. Now, if I put a shield on top of that, um, we wouldn't see a great deal. So, here I've taken one of our proto shields, and uh, it's got an LED just wired to uh, pin 13. That's better. We can see what we're doing. So, if I take the power out and power this by batteries instead, you see it's still blinking. So I put that to one side. Put that to one side. Yep, we can still see that. Now, what we shall do is plug the SRF stick in. We'll start XRF config or XCM. COM4 is the one that we want to talk to because that's the SRF stick. We want 115k because that's the speed we're talking to it at. And we go plus 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 and wait. ATR. P1, enter. ATDN, enter. Our ATRP1 turns on remote programming and ATDN just returns us back to normal operation. So, if I now exit that, we've configured the SRF stick. If I now go back to Arduino, ah, it does help if I plug the SRF shield in, so take the SRF shield. It's just stock. Plug that in. There we go. File. And then we go and find <laughs> the uh, blink. This time we will change the speed to 100. Choose COM port 4 because that's the SRF st stick, and hopefully, we click upload. And there we go, it's now blinking at um, 10 times a second as opposed to 1 times once a second.